Right, hi. Um, in terms of tally charts and what have you, look at page 41, 42. I'm going to try and do four questions quite quickly within a 15 minute window if I possibly can. Jumping straight into question three, operating in grade F. Now, look, it's a tally chart, so take the hints. Don't try and store all the numbers in your brain and then quickly write in a tally. Just take it one at a time. So, for example, uh, 15, I've got one of those. That goes there. 17, that goes in there. 23, in there. 25, in there. 22, alright, you following this? Uh, 18, there. 17, back in there. 14, back in there. 12, etc., etc. See what I'm doing? Dead easy, isn't it? Um, I need to try and go a little bit more quickly. Oh, I've got five of those. Uh, 18, lives in here. 21, lives in here. 22, lives in there. 23, also lives in here, so that's five of them done. 17, in there. 14, in there. 10, in there. 11, also in that little group there. 16, in this little group. Uh, 18, in this group or class, if you will. Uh, 21, is in here, so you've got five of them now. Another 21. So, I mean, one at a time, no problem, no stress, no missing any out. And uh, don't despise easy peasy marks. Everyone likes easy peasy marks, so this gets your marks. 13 fits in there, and finally 21 goes in here. So, 5 is the frequency, uh, 5 plus 4, 9 is the frequency there, 4 plus 3, 8, and 5 plus 1 is 6. Alright, dead easy, uh, review it in your own time. Next page. Um, right, the tally chart shows the heights in centimetres, the nearest centimetre of bushes in a garden centre. Uh, let me just um, go over what this means here. Um, that means 5 is less than the height of the bush, but the bush has got to be less than or equal to 10. In other words, um, I'm really from 6 to 10 here. In the next one, 10 is less than the height, but the height's got to be less than or equal to 15. So really, that's 11 to 15. This is 16 to 20, and this is 21 to, to um, 25. Is that all right? So before I even get any further, I just want to um, fill up the frequency here. So the tally's done for us. 5 and 3, 8. 5 and 5, 10. 5 and 2, 7. And 5 for the big brushes. All right, or big bushes, sorry. Uh, copying complete. Yeah, I've done that. How many bushes were surveyed? in the garden centre. Well that's not difficult. I've got 8 plus 10 plus 7 plus 5. What have we got? 18 plus 12. Um, that's going to be 20 bushes. So that's A done. And I'm happy with that. Uh, part B. How many bushes had heights between 10 and 15? Well that's this category here. And that's 10 of them. That's alright. And finally, see how many bushes had heights above 15. Above 15, well, that's this lot and this lot. In other words, that one and that one. So it's 7 plus 5 is 12. Is that all right? And that's all there is to that one. Um, moving over rather quickly because I have to go quickly. Um, we've got here, I've got a two way table now. I think we're dealing at grade D still. Yeah, grade D. So, two way table, we've got information about boys and girls who wear glasses. Uh, it's ready made, so let's answer straight off it. And uh, let's just change colour so it stands out more clearly. So, question A, work down here. It says, How many people wear glasses? Now, if we're talking people, we mean boys and girls. So, we want those boys and we want those girls. So, here we go. People means both of them. 8 plus 17. That puts us on to something. 25, I believe. Oh, I can't do it, my head's too quick. Yeah, okay, 25. Right, B. Um, how many girls were in the survey? Girls just means girls. Those 17 plus these 24. So here I go. 17 plus 24, that's 30, 41 girls. Question C. How many boys do not wear glasses? So it's boys, glasses, boys, no glasses, which is and get the pen to work. That one there, right? Boys and no glasses. Read it as a two way table. That's what it is. 15. Straight away. And question D. 
what method of data collection would have been used to obtain this data? Well, if it's boys and girls in a school, you probably did a little face-to-face -face interview, probably went around all the classes, as many classes you could get to, and just asked them, how many boys wear glasses, how many of you don't wear glasses, or quite easily, we could have just observed. And so, maybe some students went round to several classes, counted out the boys, and counted out the girls, and then wrote down how many they observed to wear glasses or not. Maybe some kids may feel conscious about wearing glasses, so maybe perhaps the face-to-face -face interview is uh, a bit overkill, plus it's obvious if somebody wears glasses or not. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of us obviously use contact lenses nowadays, so glasses could well be out unless they're a bit of a fashion statement. So anyway, um, I'd say you can use observation. or just do a simple survey. All right? Using a questionnaire. All right, simple, simple, simple. Last question, I believe, is on the other side. And it's a beauty. Right, nice big question. Um, change color. A school has 100 students, 52 boys play football. I want to highlight that straight away. 52 of our boys play football, so without even reading the question, I'm going to go straight into it. Football, boys, boys, football. 52. Right, of the 33 girls, I know I've got a total of 33 girls here, and 6 elevenths of them play football, and the rest do not. Alright, here I go. Apparently, 6 elevenths of the 33 girls play football. Well, I know it's a calculator unit, I'm not going to use a calculator. 11 goes into himself once, uh, 11 into 33 goes three times, I'm left with 6 times 3 is 18, 18 divided by 1 is still 18. So these 18 girls actually play football. So girls, football, 18. Right, the rest of them, what does the rest of them mean? Well, the rest of them means... 33 girls, take away the 18 who play football, leaves with 12, 13, 14, 15 girls who do not play football. 15 girls who don't play football. Now the rest of them must add up to 100. So in terms of all the students I have so far in the story, I've got um, 52 boys that play football, I've got 18 girls that play football, and I've got 15 girls who do not play football. In other words, I've got 52 plus the 33 girls, all comes to 85. Therefore, of the 100 students, I've got 15 boys who do not play football. There it goes. Just check that's right. That plus that plus that uh, plus the 33 girls comes to 85. Therefore, 15 left over. Yep, I'm really happy with that. I want to sign off and just want to declare that this is the end of chapter 3. I know I did it a bit quickly, but you can really take your time with that and have a lot of fun.